Hi guys, welcome to I exam B and continuing with the 10 questions for NAVAD exam. The first question is, as per the national forest policy, what shall be the minimum forest area of the total geographical area of the country? Kitna minimum percentage forest area hona chi as per the national policy, national forest policy. So the right answer is 33%. As per the National Forest Policy 1998, this policy actually replaced the earlier policy of 1952. So the forest area of the country shall not be less than 33% of the geographical area of the country. Aapko ye bhi pata hona chahiye that right now the forest area is 24.16% which is much below this 33%. Important hai and in this policy the main point are protection, conservation and development of the forests. So I hope that you are enjoying the free mock test at iExambi.com. Please subscribe to this channel and if you have any question, you can ask in the comment section. Question number two, for wheat crop, what is the seed rate for timely sowing crops? I think you may be aware that if the crop is sown late, you have to increase the seed rate. Seed rate kya hota hai? Seed rate wo hota hai. कि सपोज एक हेक्टेयर में आपको कितना क्वांटिटी का सीड डालना है फॉर द ऑप्टिमम क्रॉप सो फॉर वीट व्हाट इज द आंसर द आंसर इज 90 के पर हेक्टेयर इट मींस दैट फॉर ऑप्टिमम यील्ड द बेस्ट यील्ड यू कैन गेट इफ यू आर सोइंग अराउंड 90 के पर हेक्टेयर सो 90 टू 100 के पर हेक्टेयर इज द sufficient for most of the varieties also i'll tell you because there may be little bit variation in every book every question 510 kg here and there because wo variety ke hisab se depending on the irrigation in the land and also depending on the land type ye thoda plus minus hota hai so but you shall know that the range is like 90 to 100 per kg for the timely sowing When it is late sowing, that can be another question. Agar crop late sowi hai, so what is the right time to uh, do the sowing for wheat? That is actually November and sometime it goes to like first week of December kind of. So that is the best time because wheat is a rabi crop. Abhi ye to yaad hoi gya hoga those who are preparing for Nabad that wheat is a rabi crop and paddy is a kharib crop. So when there is a late sowing, you have to increase the seed rate. Question number three. What is the long term cooperative credit structure? If you remember in earlier video, I have asked about the short term cooperative credit structure. Short term credit cooperative structure is three tier, which is state level, district level and then at PAX, Primary Agriculture Cooperative Society. Now here the question is for long term cooperative credit structure. So this three tier structure is for short term. Long term mein kitna hai? How many tiers are there? Is it the same or is it different? The answer is two tier. So two tier structure hota hai. One is at state level and then directly at the ground level. So you can see here, this is the latest data in the NABAD report. So there are 182 SCARDBs out of which 133 are fully functional and at ground level there are 617 branches of SCARDBs. I don't think that you need to remember these number but you shall definitely know that for long term credit cooperative the structure is two tier structure question number 4 as per the union budget of 2018 19 the latest budget what is the fund allocated for nrlm nrlm is a very important program of the government for rural development so i think you understand the meaning of nrlm national rural livelihood mission What is the answer here? First, let's get the answer. So, answer is 5,750 crore. NRLM, as I mentioned, so this is very important scheme for alleviation of poverty and organizing rural poor into self-help group. And these SSGs are there to generate the self-employment by providing credit facilities and other assistance. This is also called Deen Dayal Antodaya Yojana. D-D-A-Y, Antodaya Yojana. Under this, the loans to self-help group is increasing and uh, the total outstanding will reach to like 75,000 crore by March 19. Now, next question. As per the existing laws, what is the duration of paid maternity leave for women working in the organized sector? So, when we say organized sector, this includes both government and private sector. 
So many of you may be knowing the answer here. The answer is 26 weeks now. So as per the latest bill passed by the government, which was passed in March 2017, there is a provision of paid leave of 26 weeks for maternity purpose. And this will be entitled in organization where there are like more than 10 employees and will be applicable for first two children. For third children, it will be 12 weeks as it was earlier. So before this amendment, the maternity leave, mandatory maternity leave was 12 weeks. See, beyond that, any organization can give more. So more is always welcome by the employee and by the government, but this is the minimum. The important thing here to also understand is India becomes the country having third highest number of maternity leave. Canada has 50 weeks of maternity week and Norway has 44 weeks. A positive development for woman employee. Now question number six. Among the options given below, tobacco caterpillar damages which crop? So this, this is an insect, tobacco caterpillar. It damages many crop. But among these options, which of the crop it damages? So the answer is jute. The scientific name of tobacco caterpillar is Spodoptora litura. Spodoptora litura is actually affecting many crops and it is one of the most important insect for agriculture crop in Asian tropics. This type of technical question on agriculture also come in NABAD exam. Now question number seven, which of the following pair is incorrect? So here you have the common name of vitamins and here you have the scientific name. So you can read it, vitamin A, retinol, vitamin B1, thiamine, vitamin C, ascorbic acid, vitamin D, cholecalciferol, vitamin E, ergocalciferol. So which one is wrong? The right answer is vitamin D. This name actually belongs to, ergocalciferol belongs to a type of vitamin D only. Here is the list. So there is vitamin A, then B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9. Then vitamin 12 is also important and C, D, E and K. So these are the vitamins and these are the names. So it depends on how much you can remember. But at least you shall know A, B1, B2, B6, B12, C, D, E and K. Now coming to question number 8. Who of the following is the health of 15th Finance Commission of India? You know about the Finance Commission and its role. Who is heading the Finance Commission now? The answer is N.K. Singh. So you may be knowing that Dr. Y.V. Reddy and Dr. Bhima Jalan both were RBI governor earlier and Dr. Y.V. Reddy was heading actually 14th Finance Commission. Now Dr. N.K. Singh, he is heading the 15th Finance Commission. He is a former IAS officer. The other members in the commission are former Economy Affairs Secretary Shatikant Das, Anup Singh and Chairman of Bandhan Bank Asok Lehiri and Niti Aayog member Ramesh Chan. Now coming to the ninth question, which of the following is the first payment bank of India? You may be hearing a lot of news about payment bank and their importance in financial inclusion. The right answer here is Airtel. Airtel was the first payment bank in India. What payment bank do? So they are mainly responsible for remittance. If you have seen that financial inclusion video, so for financial inclusion, saving, credit, remittance, insurance, these are very important product and for remittance which is a need of large number of poor payments bank are going to play that role using the technology part. Payment bank cannot hold deposit more than rupees 1 lakh. So you may be aware of that and they are mainly technology focused. Now coming to the last question for the day. PMKKKY. Yes, it is correct. 3 times K. This scheme is for which sector? Important again for NABAR type of exam because this scheme is important for mining and minerals. Padhan Mantri Khanij Shetra Kalyan Yojana PMKKKY is for providing the welfare to these people, those who are affected by mining related operations because people get migrated also because of the mining. This is all for the day. Please practice free mock test at iExambi.com. And if you have any suggestions, any comment, please write here on the comment section. You can also go to the NABAD free demo video to learn more about the course. Thank you.